Today is really interesting. Hi, beautiful friends. Today is really interesting because I feel really guided to make a video for the men. So this is a broadcast for men. I want to talk about, I'm going to keep this real good and masculine <laughs> and structured. Um, I want to talk about three reasons why you should show up for your woman right now and then three ways in which you can do that. So I'm going to get right into this. Why? Why? I'm feeling... I'm feeling a lot of relationships, feeling kind of tired right now, feeling a little bit worn down. Yeah? Okay, so... And you can, you can reach that moment of just like, why bother? Okay? So I'm really asking for you to open up to a shift a deeper shift, something you haven't haven't really done in this way before. Why? Why? Well, you have an opportunity and an invitation to be the one to spark inspiration in your relationship. And when there is a true spark of excitement and inspiration, it is like air under the wings. It really can just come in and lift everything up, okay? And truly uplift a relationship, a family, an entire home. The masculine holds that beautiful resonance of encouragement that the feminine so appreciates, okay? So you are that. You are the inspirer. Ins inspiration. I was going to try to say inspirer, but I don't know if that's a word. So you, you hold that, okay, as part of your um, masculine presence, right? And you also have a feminine presence as well, but I want to speak to masculine energy because I love masculine energy around me <laughs> and within me. I love it. And the other um, beautiful quality and a reason to show up really strongly for your woman would be that there is a, a groundedness and a power in masculine presence and just to just be, to just be, okay, that solid listening presence of the masculine. It is really, really powerful and attractive and oof, just, I don't know many men who can hold and create that kind of masculine um, presence. It takes practice. But I want you to feel within yourself if you can access that even for a moment. And then the next time it will be a moment more. And then this will be part of your field. It will be part of your energetic signature in the home. Is this very solid, clear, masculine presence available to the present moment. Okay, so this is really in the body that I'm talking about. And why, why do you want that? Your woman is going to be really, really attracted to that. Okay, it's when we can shift the energy that's very, very, very up here down, right? Down the back. It's really, really attractive. Now, the third reason that... Yeah, I mean, she's going to just, she's, she, it's, she will be very magnetically drawn to that, to that embodied presence, right? It requires you to feel. It requires you to feel who you are. Now, I think, you know, when, when you show up for your woman in a really masculine way, there's um, this excitement around manifesting together. And when a man and woman are manif truly manifesting together, like they trust each other, decide they're going to be on the same team, 
there's this vitality that's introduced, there's a shared vision that you're both gonna support each other in full-blown love to go after, the things that you will be able to manifest in your life are insane to like two people who are not aligned with that energy. It will just be like, how did you do that? How is this happening for you? Tell me what you guys are doing. I mean, it's like that when uh, when you guys come together, right? And you, but you, if you pour into her, there's going to be a lot more openness, right? For her to like really work her magic in your family dynamic. Okay. So those would be some reasons why. Some reasons why and kind of a visual of like, of of what that could look like. I wanna dive a little bit deeper though into the the practical like, okay, but how? How do we get to that, you know, super power couple magnetic space, <laughs> right? Okay, here's three more things. In, in the very like, uh, yeah, in a practical sense, okay? The first thing, and I know that men are probably really tired of hearing this, probably very, very tired of hearing this. And this relates to what I was talking about earlier is a embodied, so like existing from the lower energy centers, really inhabiting those centers and not being afraid of them or ashamed of them, dropping in and sitting heart open and just witnessing and listening to your woman. And even, I would say, go so far to create a space for her where she can open up and you can listen. And if this hasn't been practiced in a while, you might be a little bit overwhelmed by like everything that comes through her and you might feel like why would she be telling me this if it wasn't my fault or my responsibility to fix it and provide a solution? But I want you for just, this is, this is how you can pour into her, okay? First, she needs to be able to like empty the vessel, okay? She has to be able to get all of these things that she feels like she's holding on her shoulders and the responsibilities that maybe she's not even sharing with you just to create a space to allow that to come out and to truly hold a space of listening and not interrupting or interfering or taking anything personally at all. Now, there should be some ground rules like she can't bring her claws out and, you know, start yelling at you and making things your fault. That's not allowed in this space. Okay, but if she wants to speak of her experience, what she is experiencing in her life at this time, to create that space where that can just come out until you see her like, okay, it just feels so good to talk about that, right? That moment, okay. In doing that, right, in creating that space for listening, what is then going to just very naturally happen as your step two is that you can be the peacemaker. You can be the man that just is like, okay, let's wipe all of that clean and let's let's try to start fresh together. Okay? So if you if you're feeling this impulse of like, I need to bring forth a solution or I have a lot of clarity in this moment, keep it to yourself. Let all of that information that she's giving you, let it alchemize into solid gold solutions, okay? But for the practice of just pouring into your woman, let's just, let's be the peacemaker for this moment, okay? I'm not saying hold on to things and like resentment. That's not a part of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if you wanna be a peacemaker and really wipe things clean, that is going to be the first, like one of the first steps where your, your woman's gonna actually like open up on a deeper level of trust with you. And when that happens, you guys can go deeper together. And when you go deeper together, that's what, you know, it's like the manifesting, the, mag the magnetics to you as a couple 
is profound. Manifesting as a couple is profound. It's profound to get on the same page and go for it. The, the third way that I want to um, encourage you to pour into your woman is to allow her to discover her own empowerment with you. So I'm seeing a lot of you like with women who are very magical. They're very, they have really specific sets of skills. Could be with plants, um, energy healing, cranial sacral, like all of these little modalities that she's probably studying on the side that she's really fascinated with. Read um, divination, you know, that, that could be something. I want you to, um, surrender into like allow her to lead you spiritually and just just feel into that um when that is allowed and when she's allowed to just really shine in her skills and really work with you and you can surrender into that Again, that's building so much trust for you guys. Um, but what that does is that it allows her pure spirit who wants to be here and be of service to like fill her own cup, okay, is what I'm hearing. So it's, it's actually how beautiful. We get to the end of the video and the message is like, you know, really what we need you to do is like create this space for her so that her own higher self spirit has the permission to come through her to fill her cup. And you as the masculine, you get to receive the overflow from that, but it does require you to be willing to, to be in a moment of surrender with her to her magic, to her oracle abilities, to her healing abilities, right? But everything we've talked about kind of needs to come first for her to be able to be in a relaxed enough state for all of that to come through. That's, that's you in your masculine power and magic is when you can create, assist in creating the space for the feminine to be that chalice of, of really potent cosmic higher self universal intelligence to pour through her right and you get to be that masculine presence that creates such a safe trusting space for her to do that right and um so these were just yeah these were a few of the things <clears throat> that have really worked over here and that, you know, I've, I just can see very clearly is the message to be shared today is that there's so much in, letting go. There's so much right now to see a man at these times be able to be in that place of surrender and to be able to allow um, for all of this to take place. There's so much letting go. There's so much letting go. I want you to, so if you do this, <laughs> yes, if you do this, I want you to, the mantra is you, you need to find something that feels like your authentic voice inside of you saying, this is about how much I can let go right now. This is about how much I can release right now. This is how much I can like surrender to whatever the, the veracity that's, that wants to come up, that you breathe through that. 
and you can breathe like that like in for a she'll see if she sees you like really breathing through a tough moment that's you know because she might she might test you a little bit it's just like part of the primal feminine nature unfortunately i'm so sorry about that but it's just like she just wants to really make sure like are you really here are you really present are you really surrendering because i'm about to open up like the floodgates of my magic and like everything that is sacred to me and so I really need to make sure that this is a safe space for that to come through and so if you can be in that breath surrender peacemaker mature man she will she will might take practice but she will. It will be a miracle. You'll see a miracle unfold and you guys will go deeper. And I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited for both of you about that. So I'd love to continue this conversation <laughs> in the comments. Um, women, if you have anything to add, let's talk about it. And I hope you like this video and subscribe and I have resources for you in the description box that I would love for you to check out and please share this please share this video that would be so helpful and beautiful and I will see you in the next video I love you